Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and today we're going to look at the shopping experience both on the Amazon Kindle and the Kobo. The e-readers themselves here aren't really the focus of the comparison. We're looking at what it's like to have either of these two brands and what it's like if you're going to be purchasing ebooks which is the number one reason why you would purchase an e-reader in the first place so as you can see there's a lot in common with the ui and interface here one thing that kobo has done is they've kind of really fit everything into a singular screen as you can see everything's kind of fit whereas with amazon it's more of a scrolling interface and when you scroll, you notice that each image is flicker because of e-ink. So I kind of dig what Kobo is mainly done. Okay, let's look at what it's like to click on a book. So we'll just click on a random book out of each one. So Kobo loaded quicker, of course. So if you have ever visited the Amazon website before, which you probably have if you are a Prime member or if you buy books online, it's very similar in terms of editorial rev reviews, details here, how many pages there are, when it was initially published, who the publisher is. It's very similar to the Amazon website, but it's a little bit more condensed. You can download a sample, redeem a code, look at all editions and make a purchasing decision. With Kobo, everything is sort of, again, all on one page. And they have some tabs here that you can just click on, related titles and everything like that. And of course, save previews. So you can download the sample, rate your device, and everything's sort of done on the one page with Amazon, you do get a pop-up saying the sample's on its way, whereas with Kobo, it's right here. So as you can see, Amazon's downloading it through the cloud, whereas with Kobo, immediately I can click on read preview and go right to reading an ebook. Whereas with Amazon, there is no read here. I have to actually click out of the store, go to my library, find the book, click on the book, and then read the book. So it's jumping uh, through a bunch of different steps just to read the sample on the Kindle, whereas with the Kobo, I could read it right through the store interface, which is a little bit more intuitive. Okay, so with Amazon here, as you can see, they have things like editor's picks, today's deals, everything like that. Whereas with Kobo, everything's sort of right here. Some categories, some top picks, but they actually have view alls. Uh, with Amazon, you can't really do that unless you go to browse categories and then browse all categories. Okay, so you know, you notice that from everything I've showed you so far, that um, Kobo sort of fits everything on one single screen. Whereas with Amazon, it's more of a scrolling experience. But I think it's important to note some of the things that Amazon does that other companies don't do, especially Kobo. So they have uh, Kindle Unlimited, which is an optional subscription program where you could read an unlimited number of titles per month. They're mainly indie, indie author titles, but there are some things like uh, The Hunger Games and Harry Potter and some things from some bigger publishers, but for the most part, it's just self-published stuff. Amazon does have a, a program here called Prime Reading, which if you are a subscriber to Amazon Prime, you actually can read any of these books that they have here a month. Uh, so they have like roughly, I think about about thousand books on launch and they change some of the titles on a monthly basis, but basically you could read as many stuff as you want. So you can read for free. So Prime Reading and Kindle Limited are two different platforms. Uh, again, with uh, Kindle Unlimited optional subscription fee, but if you have an Amazon Prime membership and you live in the U.S., 
you can actually read as many books as you want, but there are more books on Kindle Limited than there are Prime Reading. Um, of course, Amazon does have some other, other things like uh, serial fiction. They have Kindle Worlds, which is authorized fan fiction. So they have some um, extra sort of things that Kobo doesn't. So in terms of which, what is the better store, I think Amazon is the better store in terms of services and the sheer amount of content that you can get either for free or as part of your Prime membership. Whereas with Kobo, I think I like their store, the way that it's designed, everything kind of fits on one screen. There isn't a lot of flickering when you're clicking from screen to screen because they don't have so many images. Like Amazon has so many different images on a singular screen that when you're scrolling, you start getting ghosting and flickering. Then that sort of starts adding up. So if you are wondering which e-reader is right for you and you're kind of stuck between, hey, should I get uh, the new Paperweight or should I get the new Kobo uh, Aura HD uh, or any of the other Kobo uh, brands out there, the Edition 2 and so on. Well, this is a store experience and it doesn't really change depending on the device that you have. So this has been a comparison to shopping experience. For Good Reader, my name is Michael and everyone take care.